They call this area the Thunder Egg Creek because there's all these round rocks in the area. Rocco thinks it's a ball. <laughs> If you're new to the channel and you're wondering who is this strange person showing me all these rock hard balls, I'm Forresty Forest and I've been living in vans for over six years together with my Jack Russell. Rocco, we hike, we camp, we explore, we do van life, but mostly, mostly we climb mountains. cook this on high for five minutes. Air crisp, 390, 20 minutes. Okay, so we've got to heat up some butter with uh, some Frank's Red Hot. And also a tablespoon of brown sugar. Delicious. The air fryer does a really good job on these. Nice and crispy. Rocco's magic door opened into a completely new place today. Let's see if you guys can figure out where we are now. The weather forecast this afternoon, uh, it's a bit sketchy. It's supposed to rain, but hoping I can squeeze in a, a wee mountain summit before that happens. The drone footage made this look a lot easier than what it actually is. Maybe I should have tried to stick to that riverbed. Oh, what a nightmare. Come on, Rucko. The riverbed kind of went off in the wrong direction. I think it involved more climbing than going back down. But I think it would have been faster than trying to deal with this. I can't get out of here. I'm stuck. I'm lucky that logging road came so far up. Sometimes you get into these bushwhacks. It's a huge achievement just to cover 10 kilometers in a day. But it looks like it's starting to thin out now. We should be okay. Cool. Done a lot of driving since that chicken wing cook. Can anyone guess where I am? <laughs> I'm, in the, I'm in the Canadian Rockies now, just uh, near the town of McBride, came up the Holmes River FSR last night. Just uh, spotted a number of like potential mountains that look climbable out here. So I figure spend a few days, camp out, see what I can do before the snow really starts dumping. Yeah, nearly a week on the road. I don't know how long haul truckers do it. I felt like a blob of concrete needed a good shakedown in the mountains. So today I'm headed for Real Peak. It's one of the less certain summits out here. Looks like it's uh, heavily glaciated up there. I'm hoping I can sneak by on the left-hand side. But yeah, I'm excited for this one. There's a really dramatic looking ridgeline up there. I can't wait to get the drone over it. I have no beta on this mountain. I have no idea if this is gonna work. Just the good old topographic map satellite imagery combo. That's my weaponry today. Yeah, winter is not too far off. I'm considering Riding it out in Canada this year, but we'll see. Winter is long as heck, and it's just really hard to find good places to sleep.
It's a lot more complex terrain than what I expected. It's a big intersection of moraines, just piling all this up around me. I don't see a direct way to get up the mountain. I'm hoping uh, maybe there's a gully over there. I'll just have to go way down to get to it. I'll take a gamble, try to go up through here. Just try to pretend like I know what I'm doing right now. Uh, it's a race against the clock, against that precipitation that's coming. And this is taking way longer than expected. Looks like I'm almost to the glacier. We're just steadily finding our way up this thing. One piece at a time. All right, so I'm trying to get up the toe of the glacier now. It's steep. Scramble up this side. I just walk and stare up the glacier. It's not that bad. These clouds just keep getting pushed further down. If it was a clear day, I'd be able to see Mount Robson looming behind me. But yeah, it looks like this is gonna work out. I'll just keep plodding the way and hopefully get a viewpoint from the top. It's a beautiful area here. It's a shame I can't do more camera work. It's kind of a rush against the weather. I feel like these mountains are gonna be socked in real soon. bitter up there today. I did not last very long. My hands were frozen. Just trying to retrace my steps back across the glacier now. I had cell service for about a second. I managed to refresh my weather forecast. Looks like the precipitation is going to hold off till later tonight so I'm all good. Yeah, Mount Robson making a bold appearance. I cannot believe people actually climb that thing. It's good to be back in the Rockies. I missed it here. Just such a unique and recognizable mountain range. Starts to feel like home after a while. Yeah, real peak. That was the most complicated route out of all the mountains I picked in this area. So glad it worked out. But seven hours into this now, I thought I'd be back to the van by now. Ask anyone who's ever hiked with me. If I say it's going to be a three hour hike, oh boy, pack up that backpack for a full 12 hours. If gravel ever becomes a valuable resource, Since the rain forecast got pushed back, take my time, taking a long way back, that involves a whole lot less side hilling. I'm so upset. Last night I did this whole campfire cook after the hike. I made steak and potatoes and corn all over the fire. My microphone has this little switch on it that puts it into a digital mode. That must have got bumped so there's no sound on any of my footage. After all these years of being a career YouTuber, I'm so prone to making these goofy little mistakes. But today is just a rest day. I got a good workout yesterday so I'm just hanging out by the uh, wood stove. I was really surprised how many uh, good huckleberries there's still to be found out there. Usually once they freeze and thaw they just lose all their taste and they kind of turn to mush but maybe uh, today if I'm up for it might head out and try to find some more but yeah tomorrow the weather's supposed to be clear again so uh, see if I can get out for a, another summit and suddenly, watching the Y files in the middle of nowhere just as it starts to get dark 
Summer's coming. Why do I do this you to myself? Have to keep your eye out for Range Four, Harry. Old Harry likes it. It's still up in the air whether or not I'm going to do an interior reno on this van. Nothing is really lined up for me yet. I still maintain my original thoughts from years ago. Like, what's the point of pouring piles and piles of money into a van build when anything can happen to it day by day? A tree can fall in the van while I'm out hiking today, and then I just lose all that investment just like that. But it's also the fact that I've been living like a trucker. I'm just racking up the mileage on this thing. It's definitely not going to last forever. Like, if I was only driving 10,000 kilometers per year, it might make more sense to do a nice van build that will last me uh, longer. Uh, the latest with this van, I was in for an oil change last week, and the guy, he uh, he showed me the dipstick, and he's like, man, this uh, this oil looks really sludgy. Did you wait a long time to uh, do the oil change? And I was like, no, I'm actually ahead of schedule right now. I'm not sure if I should believe him or not, because like his next line was, oh, you should buy this uh, crankcase cleaner. So it might have just been a sales pitch. But over the last couple of months, I have been noticing a smell of burning oil coming from the van I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not coming from the exhaust pipe maybe there's just like a, a really slow drip that's landing on the exhaust pipe up front but yeah I'm always paranoid that something else is going to be wrong with this van and just like cost me a fortune We got the benefit of a trail today, although a slightly overgrown one. It was raining last night, so very quickly got soaked. I believe this is part of the Great Divide Trail. We'll follow this up for about 7k, and uh, there's a couple mountains up there. Look like they should go. I saw the new Garmin Phoenix 8 watch finally came out. I've had the uh, 7x, feels like over two years now. So, yeah, I was looking into the new one. I'm a sucker for new technology. It compared all the specs, but I don't know. I don't think it's a worthwhile upgrade. It's got the AMOLED screen now, but it's not like I'm going to be watching movies on my watch. I think all that screen does is drain the battery quicker. Like The point of this watch is to keep stats and also to have the navigation, to have that red line to follow on the way back out if I'm doing a big bushwhack. But, yeah, I'd say if you're on the market, uh, save yourself the money. Get the 7. It's still... A very good watch. Yeah, I am. I am soaked. I'm afraid that I'm going to turn into an ice cube once I get up to the Alpine. Maybe I should have brought a change of pants. Uh, thankfully, I'm starting to dry out a little bit. I just got to keep moving, keep my body heat stoked up. But my pants are likely going to freeze as I start to climb up the mountain itself. Should be a treat for everyone here watching who likes to see me suffer. Yeah, we'll do Jack Pine Mountain today, maybe come back for Mount Holmes another time. Finally starting to look like this mountain is in reach. Oh, some nasty side hill to deal with. When I say I'm starting to get close to this mountain, I think what I actually mean is, oh boy, get ready for another three hours of hiking. She almost made it all the way to the top on her own, but that wind chill started to get to her. No comrade left behind. Let's finish this off. Yeah, this last bit has been slightly treacherous. There's some scrambling to do. It's just really hard to see where to put your feet. I thought I was going to be in for an easier day than Real Peak, but this one uh, was the much harder out of the two. My pants are frozen solid from the knee down. I'm going to get that drone footage, then get the heck out of here.
Well, the monkey has done his dance for another day. I'm tired. I'm probably going to head back into town tomorrow, get all cleaned up. But special thanks to uh, Burned and Gerd for providing all the firewood used in this episode. And I hope everyone's doing good. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm. So cozy right now. <laughs>